Hey there, welcome to LSAT Demon Daily. I'm Ben Olson, that's Nathan Fox. Together we're the founders of LSATdemon.com and our weekly podcast, Thinking LSAT. We have an email here from Jordan. Jordan says, hey guys, I've been experiencing a very large discrepancy in my timed score versus my blind review score. You know, Ben, do you even have, do, do you care, do you have people do a blind review score? No, because nope, that means you you're retaking that the whole the test. Yeah. That's not even a demon thing. So you're already like worrying about something that we would never. We just wouldn't even look at this, Jordan. Under time conditions, I score around 157. OK, so you're scoring 157 on your practice tests. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. During blind review, I score about 171. I don't care. I Like that, that means nothing to me. Well, there, there's so many problems with it, too, because it's like. When you're blind reviewing a question, there's a very real possibility that <laughs> you've already fucking read it. Yeah. You've already seen it. Look, look at this next thing. Jordan goes, I zoom through the questions during blind review. So I do not think the time restraint is part of the problem. It's the pressure and anxiety that comes with the clock that's giving me problems. No, you, you're already <laughs> what fluent in the the ideas yeah. that were expressed to you. What are you talking about? <laughs> You've already read those questions. It's easier to read something that you have already previously read. Absolutely. <laughs> that's just goofy. I don't, we would never tell someone to redo an entire test after they've already done it timed. Uh, anyway, Jordan continues, even though I'm being timed, my thoughts get cloudy. Sorry, every time I am being timed, my thoughts get cloudy and start to race. I have bad anxiety and I was granted an extended time accommodation. This has helped, but my mind remains cloudy during timed practice. Sometimes I have to read the same sentence three or four times before I am able to comprehend it. <laughs> Check this out. Under blind review, I read the same sentence once and I fully understand it. Yeah, but you just read it. So now you've read it five times. <laughs> you've already read it three or four times, Jordan. That's your fourth or fifth time. Oh, my gosh. That's comedy. Uh, any advice? Yeah, stop doing this. Just stop doing... You don't need to blind review full sections. That's not even a thing. It's just, what even is that? It's not a thing. A blind <laughs> review of a test is just not a thing. It's not. That's it's a not thing the only LSAT. because people do it foolishly. I know. But. <laughs> it's, it's so it's so worthless. It doesn't. We don't ever ask anybody to do that. It's a waste of your time. It's giving you these false ideas about what your problem is. Jordan, your problem is that you don't read slowly and carefully enough in the first place. Well, and You're, Jordan has the wrong goal, right? Like if Jordan Jordan's had trying a different to finish, goal, it sounds like. Yeah. So, Jordan, your goal is to get the highest percentage correct you can get on the ones you attempt. So if you attempt 10 questions and you get 10 of them correct, you have gotten 100 percent. And I will congratulate you Air as much five. as you want. Yep. Yeah. Air high five right now <laughs> that you got 100 percent. Right. And, and so you control how many questions you do in, in your, what now, maybe 53 minutes. I don't know what time accommodation you got, but in your 53 minutes, you can choose how many questions you're going to do. And that's up to you. To be clear, yeah. don't choose how many questions you're going to do. That's not literally what we mean. What we mean instead is do one question at a time, actually understand it, feel good about your answer, get it right then do another one and just calmly continue with that same process until time is up. So do not try to finish the section. Do not have a goal of how many questions you're going to attempt. Do one at a time. As far as this three to four times reading a sentence, any thoughts about that? Well, I'm glad that Jordan is reading the same sentence as opposed to the entire passage uh, but, but maybe you need to break it down even more and read the first half of the sentence. Yeah. I think if your goal changes though, this cloudiness will go away. It's how you're rereading these sentences multiple times precisely because you're cloudy and you're thinking about the time and you're thinking about finishing yep. and you need to stop doing that. Um, but don't fret if you end up reading a sentence three times with a clear head, sometimes you have to do that to really understand that sentence. I but if do you're it doing it sometimes. All the times, yeah. Yeah. So on the one hand, 
Ben and I will sometimes read a sentence three or four times in order to really understand what it's saying, because we insist on understanding what we read. And some of this shit is intentionally written in the most convoluted way possible. So we might have to do that sometimes. But yeah. if I slow down and I read the first half of that sentence better, or if I stop and reread the first half of that sentence, then the second half of the sentence might click and I might end up only reading it once or twice instead of reading the whole sentence three or four times. But yeah, don't don't worry about it. Just calm down and focus on accuracy. Anything else for Jordan? No, thanks for writing in and good luck. Give us an update after you try this. Yeah, thanks, Jordan. We'd like to know what happens when you stop blind reviewing your whole section. Um, it just seems like it, it's a man. How long does that take? That's such a big waste of time. Oh, well, he's breezing through it. So <laughs> <laughs> he's breezing through it because he already did it. Yeah. Uh, email daily at lsatdemon.com if you'd like to ask us a question or share some LSAT or law school admissions news. Thanks for listening. Thank you.